ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் அவர் பேப்பர் ஒன் ஃப்ரீ பேசிக் கோர்ஸ் இன் த பாஸ்ட் ஃபியூ வீடியோஸ் வி வர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் அவர் யூஜிசி என் டிஏ நெட் பேப்பர் ஒன் சிலபஸ் வி வர் ஃபோக்கஸிங் ஆன் பீப்புள் டிவலப்மெண்ட் அண்ட் என்வாயன்மெண்ட் இன் த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் மில்லேனியம் டிவலப்மெண்ட் கோல்ஸ் அண்ட் சஸ்டெனபிள் டிவலப்மெண்ட் கோல்ஸ் so similar to millennium development goals and sustainable development goals we have a set of goals for our country india also for so as to combat or so as to mitigate the effects of climate change in this video we will be discussing about those goals they are known as napcc or national action plan on climate change national action plan on climate change or napcc was adopted in the year 2008 june 30 and it was adopted at a national level and the aim of napcc is to mitigate and adapt to the climate changes in different domains that are related with climate change so as a part of this we have eight set of goals or eight set of climate goals that has to be fulfilled or that has to be adopted by different parts of the country or different government bodies private bodies and also policy makers etc so those goals include national solar mission national water mission national mission for green india national mission for sustainable uh, himalayan ecosystem etc so now we'll be discussing what are those eight climate change goals remember you should study this eight goals there is no need of studying in detail about those goals there is a chance for factual question regarding this eight goals similar to as we have already discussed similar to questions from millennium development goals and sustainable development goals they may give a set of statements and they may ask you which among the following are napcc or national action plan or climate change missions so let's try to look which are the eight different missions coming under napcc first mission is national solar mission the basic aim of national solar mission is to promote solar energy or is to promote all types of steps that will definitely help in increasing or harnessing the use of solar energy as a part of this goals there is an aim for deployment of 20000 megawatt of solar power by the year 2022 along with that we have some specific goals for increasing the use of solar thermal technologies as well as in urban areas industry and other commercial establishment all together national solar mission talks about promoting better utilization of solar energy and the second mission we have is national mission for enhanced energy efficiency this and this mission aims at promoting or improving energy efficiency within the country in different platforms of energy use and it aims at saving a minimum of 10000 megawatt of energy by within the 4 years it's a part of this mission we were discussing about the three star electronic devices four star five star and we also discussed regarding the uh, ac or uh, air conditioners also so it all comes as a part of enhanced energy efficiency and the third mission under napcc is national mission on sustainable habitat national mission on sustainable habitat aims at promoting energy efficiency as a common or as a core component of urban planning and the plan calls for or the mission calls for a extending the existing energy conservation building code which means as of now we have a specific set of codes that has to be fulfilled while creating or while constructing different building especially in urban areas so this particular mission aims at promoting a better building code a better energy efficient building code especially related to the urban areas it also give a special emphasis on urban waste management as well as recycling including the power production from renewable resources or power production from waste so this is the so this is what we have to say regarding the third mission regarding sustainable habitat and next we have the mission that deals with water that is national water mission and the goal of national water mission is to better utilization of available water resources it talks about increasing the efficiency of water usage by a minimum of 20 percentage and it will be done using different technologies as well as awareness among different sections of people who are using water in their daily life so this is mission number 
the next mission we have national mission on sustaining himalayan ecosystem because we know himalayan ecosystem play a significant role in sustaining indian subcontinent especially protecting us from the warm currents or cold currents from the siberian and other central asian state so this particular aim sustaining himalayan ecosystem deals with development or improvement of ecological value of himalayan ecosystem and also the environmental peculiarities and biodiversity peculiarities of himalayan ecosystem in symbol it talks about protecting and preserving different aspects related to himalayan ecosystem it also talk about uh, protecting glaciers which are a major source of india's water supply as well as projects to recede as a result of our project source to uh, reduce the impacts of global warming so we have the next mission as a six mission that is national mission for a green india as the name indicate it talks about uh, increasing the forest cover it talks about afforestation it talks about preventing deforestation etc as a part of green india mission it promotes or it targets an afforestation of around 6 million hectares of degraded lands it also talks about increasing the existing forest cover from the 23 to 33 percentage of the total land territory i hope you will be knowing that the ideal or the best or the minimum uh, amount or percentage of land that uh, that should be under forest for sustaining or a, for a better society is 33 percentage so national green india mission talks about increasing the existing forest cover from 23 percentage to 33 percentage and next we have the seventh goal that is a national mission for sustainable agriculture in the last video i have discussed about sustainable development that is those sustainable development is that development that helps to meet the need of the existing generation without compromising the needs of the future generation similar to we should have a sustainable agriculture which means the existing agricultural needs or farm needs or food needs of the existing people or generation has to be fulfilled and also there shouldn't be any compromise with regards to the future chances of agriculture that is this plan or this mission aims to support climate adaptation in agriculture through development of climate resilient crops expansion of weather insurance mechanism and also promoting better agricultural practices all together it talks about a sustainable agriculture for the future now we have the last mission coming under napcc or national action plan on climate change that is national mission on strategic knowledge for climate change so in the previous videos we have discussed about climate change the issue of climate change climate change is one of the most important environment related issue being faced throughout the world so we have to try all our efforts so as to reduce the harmful impacts of climate change and so as to reduce the harmful impact of climate change it's very important we do whatever possible research so as to have a strategic and a better knowledge regarding fighting the climate change so this mission aims at gaining better understanding of climate change scenario within the india because we have to study about global warming we have to study about greenhouse gases what are the different greenhouse gases us that is mainly being produced within our country india and how to resolve the issue how to reduce those greenhouse gases without compromising the uh, development of industry or agriculture etc so these are the eight goals we have under napcc remember NPCC are a set of eight goals that were adopted in the year 2008 it is similar to millennium development goals or sustainable development goals but NPCC is a national level project uh, definitely this is a part of our paper one syllabus so you have to study all the eight goals there is a lot of chance of asking question from this particular topic so i hope you are clear with what is npcc we'll be discussing more topic from our ugc and tnet paper one syllabus in the upcoming videos thank you